background or no background, I always wanted to do music and um, I always wanted to put my people in the map, make them proud of me. And I'm doing this and I think my people are very proud of me. Mr. Dabenja, thank you for coming into Paul Studios today. You're welcome. Um, congrats on the new song with DJ Kubilon. Thank you. Yakata. And then, sorry, could you, why, why Dabenja? What informed that name? That's it. Um, my full name is Benjamin, which I rather say. And David happens to be my middle name. So, Benja is the shortest form for Benjamin. Why David? D.A. David Benjamin. So that's why he came out David Benjamin, the Benjamin. So first, before we go into why he chose music as a career, um, how long have you been doing music? Officially, I've been doing music since 2010. 2010? Yeah, yeah. Nine years. But I pretty got a lot of things on my hands that I was doing. So I think it was the right time. I had to make time to, for, for the music. Oh, okay. So music was the side also for a while? Yeah, music was one of it, but I needed to accomplish some things first before I fully get into music. Oh, okay. So what informed um, your, your decision to go into music exactly? Um, I had passion for music. I was born into a Christian home, and I was a member of a choir and church. And I've always wanted to do music because music is life to me. Music is everything to me. And I was just waiting for the right time and the right platform to just move ahead. Oh, so you're a church boy? Yeah. Are I you know. the good boy or the bad boy in church? I know I'm a good boy, I don't know about the rest. <laughs> so, um, from your, the music from um, Take Away, from, um, to Yakata, for example, um, what informed the decision to work with DJ Kublon, for example? Um, because DJ Kublon is one of the best. And working with him, I was learning a lot of things. So he was the best and I wanted to work with him. I did work with him and everything came out successfully. And working with Kublon is a plus for me because he's strictly the best. So from your, from your story, we, um, from your past interview basically, you saw that you talked about your background from Akwai Bomb and everything. Yeah. Um, did he inform your um, decision to chase music as a career or to pursue music as a career? Um, do you mean my background? Yeah. My background has nothing to do with me pursuing music. It has been what I wanted to do while when I was growing up. So, background or no background, I always wanted to do music and um, I always wanted to put my people on the map, make them proud of me. And I'm doing this and I think my people are very proud of me. So, um, about your foundation now, what informed the decision to, to start a foundation exactly? Growing up, I grew up from the ghetto if you don't know. And growing up, things were really not going that they're really not going well. And I had this decision when I grew up, when I could when I'm able to afford a lot of things, I'm really gonna go back and help a lot of people. I have the spirit in me. So I really want to give out to people and basically my foundation is basically working on women and children, trying to provide for their needs and trying to support them in whatever area and aspect they do. Life is hard. I was there. I've been there. And I know how it is and I, I feel their pain. So I'm here to support them and just give them another hope for tomorrow. Who is funding the foundation exactly? Um, Self-funding. Wow. Yeah. So are you looking for, um, say, outside funding? Your foundation going forward? Um, for now, anything can happen. But what we we're making from our music, we're pushing um, from well wishes, we're reaching out to a lot of people. So, um, you're a record label exec? Yeah, I am. So, how, has, how long has your record label been pushing? Have you ever been signed to a record label before? Um, yes, I, I was signed to a record label before. Um, by the end of the day, things really didn't work out the way it was supposed to be. And I wanted to do my own thing at the right time. And I've always had in mind to come up with my own record label, which is the Master Set Music TMS. It's global. And 
started over eight years now. We had two actors on board, but right now I, it's time for me to do my thing. So would you advise, um, say, people that are just starting out, you've been in the game for like nine years now, would you advise young artists to actually uh, like sign to a record level? Would you, would you advise them to start on their own and bootstrap it? Sort of well, everything has to do with capital. If you have a good record holder that, that's ready to sign it, that believes in your dream, sign on to them. You know, nobody knows tomorrow. We're all trying to get to our destination and we're all trying to push harder. For me, I always wanted to do my thing. And that is why. So anyone, whatever choice you find yourself, whatever you want to do, think about it. If it's good for you, do it. From Sugar Baby to um, Take Away to Yakata, there's been a, like, a slight evolution of sound. Yeah. There's been a slight change, especially in the last two, yeah. the last two songs. So, would you say your, your, art, your artistry is kind of um, changing, you're kind of changing your sound a bit? Um, no, I just do music that is good for the people. Whatever sound I think is nice and my people is going to relate to, I put it out. And it depends on the producer I'm working with. Um, Sugar Baby, I work with Prince Micah. He's also one of the best. We attended the same school. So, I, I'm very close to him. So, Sugar Baby, that was, that was his kind of sound. And DJ Kublon also has his own kind of sound. So tomorrow I might do another music with different sound. So you can be expecting reggae from you anytime. Yeah, bro. I'm just trying to push out the, the music, bring out the message. So if you had to drop an album today, how many genres would you say would be on the album? Say for today, like Da Benja is now, how many genres mm -hmm. would be on the album? Um, for now, I can't tell. Depends on what my management comes up with. Oh, so are you working on an album? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on an album. I'm dropping two albums. Oh, a double, a double disc. Yeah, a double album. album. Okay. One, one from one for my people, the Christian aspect, one gospel, and one. <laughs> so you're still, you're still giving some some things back to the Christendom. Yeah, because I came from that aspect, so I would never forget my background. So, one album for God, first, because that's what I told God I was going to do. So definitely, yeah, I need to just do it. But let's just say there's a collision of ideas where you're singing from, from the Christian perspective and one for us, the outside the Christian. I'm just doing music. Okay. So you select your message from every of, every of the songs I'm dropping, you know. So I want to do music that touches your heart, that gives you hope, not just music that just makes you, make music that makes you dance, you know, that make you think about tomorrow, and gives you hope and courage that tomorrow is going to be good. So I'm just doing music. So, what's, what are the other plans after Yakata has dropped? Um, we just officially dropped um, Yakata video this morning. And after Yakata, a lot of things is going to follow. Like what? For now, a lot of things is just going to follow. Okay. You know, but greater things, good news. Yeah. So, where, are the, where's, where, where, where can people stream those songs right now, Yakata? Spotify, Apple Music, on every platform. You can never imagine Yakata is everywhere. Yakata is here to stay. And the Benja is here to stay. So if you want to follow your social media, where should it go to? Um, on IG at the Benja. On Twitter at the Benja. Yeah, for now. So there you have it, everybody. The Benja in the studio. Go out and download and stream and view anything that uh, Yakata because the song is fire. Mama, hey, mama. Mama, hey.